Hello, good day. My name is Hannah DeGroot, and here's our physics problem for the day. So right now we have four people riding in a roller coaster, and all together they weigh about 200 kilograms, and then the um, section that they are riding in itself weighs about 300 to give us a total of 500 kilograms. So from that, we can there... Um, uh, we then know that the total gravity force is 5,000 newtons. And from there, we have to split it up if we want to find what each person's, the acceleration that they're each experiencing. So we know that the angle of the ride is going to be at 37 degrees, and so the bottom should be 53 degrees, so that's giving us a nice 3, 4, 5 triangle. So going down then, we're going to be, um, it's going to be about 3,000 newtons that they're experiencing. And then to the side here that's propelling them down is going to be about 4,000 newtons of force. So from here, we know now that um, because there's no tension force or other force that is um, pulling them up, other than normal force, we can extrapolate that the normal force is going to be equally counterbalanced to the direct downward force here um, experience. So the normal force is about 3,000 um, newtons. And uh, I also gave us we should uh, expect that the coefficient of friction is about 0.1. So now we can find the coefficient of friction. So the coefficient of friction is found by the friction force over the normal force. And so since we know um, the normal force and the coefficient of friction, we can find the friction force in newtons. And so once we solve this problem here, um, multiplying 3,000 by 0.1, we get about 300 newtons. And now to finally find the acceleration, we know that acceleration, the formula for that, is acceleration times mass times the, fr um, the net forces. And so we're just trying to find, let's look at the original here. So even though this is not in its, it of, of itself horizontal, if we, we want to find the acceleration going that way. So we want it, so now you can see that this is the horizontal and then this would be the vertical. So now we know here that the friction force is 300 newtons. And so we take the net force of these two, so we subtract one from the other. And I did that here. So we have 500 kilograms, that is the mass, and then we have 4,000, which is the gravity propelling us downwards, and then three, 300 newtons is the friction force. And so once we solve for that, because that is 3,700 newtons in total, and then when we multiply that by the 500 kilograms, we get 7.4 meters per second per second. And I don't think this one is way too fast to feel like you're being...